Okay, you might remember a while ago we made a music video for Colette Follar for her song titled Underwater, and I did promise you a behind the scenes look at how we made that music video and what went on. So I'm just gonna run through that with you now. Um, here we're just blasting over in a small boat to an uninhabited island um, where we would have a bit of peace and quiet to film. That is the underwater housing uh, that I used for some of the underwater sequences in the film, I was just messing around with it in a boat. Here we are, as usual, carrying lots of equipment and all the stuff that we needed and it was a fairly minimal amount of equipment actually for uh, a video production. Right, here I've got the Zacuto rig with a 7D and a 24mm lens and a graduated filter that I'm using here. And this was just for a couple of short clips that you'll see in the video which I've got coming up now. So this clip coming up here and the following one coming up here. So that was what you saw filmed with the Zacuto rig with 24mm lens. This is the long telephoto shot. I've got a 70 to 200 lens with a two times converter. And you can see the Z finder, there's a Kuto rig there, and a graduated filter. And I use that lens to give a really compressed perspective that you can see just here. And you can see it again here. And there. Now you can also notice here that in Adobe Premiere, I've boosted the colors to enhance it to make it a little bit more, more vibrant. Here's a Zakuto rig being used again. Same setup, 24mm lens on the 7D with a graduated filter. And that um, setup worked really well for uh, a few sequences in the music video, which you'll see coming up shortly. And the Z Finder allows me to view the image on the back of the screen of the 7D. And they fit onto the 5D Mark II or Mark III as well. And the Zakuto rig allows you to move around whilst filming, here's the clip. Nice shallow depth of field with that particular 24mm lens because it's a 1.4 lens so it allows me to go quite shallow. Here I'm dressed up in a weird uh, suit because I've been in the water uh, doing a little bit of filming. It was January in the UK, freezing cold, water temperature was freezing so I've got a 14mm uh, thick wetsuit on there and that was just used for this sequence here dragging the housing and this sequence looking up up at Colette stood in the water and um, I linked these sequences together with her in the bath in the studio and then these underwater sequences so that as she went underwater in the bath he had this kind of link to the underwater sequences like we've got you see that sort of coming up here as well so the camera sort of goes down under the water I think it's in this section here, and then it will um, link to an, a going under the water here in the bath and underwater into the pool. Right here you see our dolly slider. This is actually a dynamic perception time-lapse rig slider that I use for time-lapse, but here I've just unlinked it and I'm manually sliding my camera in my studio. And you see all these lovely fairy lights that I've hung up on a couple of crossbars and I'm using the 85mm lens on a 5D Mark II and I think I'm using this lens at f2 to get this lovely um, effect of the shallow depth of field and all the fairy lights out of focus and I chose this to slightly emulate bubbles if you like to link in with the bubbles that we were going to have in the underwater um, scenes and you can see um, the effect here in the um, final video of the fairy lights nicely out of focus and to illuminate um, Colette I used a beauty dish one of my studio beauty dish overhead with a tri reflector underneath and a bit of a blue gelled light on the background to keep this underwater blue theme running through the video so it was again about linking these different elements of the video together just sort of subtle hints like fairy lights to give it that little bit of glamour but again sort of could be interpreted as possibly as bubbles that you see later on in the underwater pool shots and here we've got the same blue as she's in the bath in the studio and there we are, this is the setup in the bath in the studio. And we use this bath on location as well, which you'll see a little bit later. Here I've got a large softbox illuminating Colette. And um, I've also got a couple of blue gelled lights 
And we filmed um, this sequence mostly from above for the music video, uh, looking straight down in the bath. Um, but I also filmed from the front as well for a couple of sequences, which I think you'll see uh, coming up shortly. And this is poor Colette having to um, follow instructions on my crazy ideas for this music video. And she um, was a real trooper in, in, in managing to actually undertake some of this crazy stuff um, for the final video. Sometimes, unfortunately, it did <laughs> tend to go up her nose and make her choke a little bit. And there we go, you can see the sequence from the front on the bath, and then from above, and then coming out of the bath, and then we link that to the bath on the beach. Going under the water again dreaming underwater and that linked to the later scenes in the pool okay here's the bath being transported to the beach and i'm using the same dynamic um, perception slider there that you can see and i use a variety of lenses here from uh, the 24 mil wide angle i use a 50 millimeter lens i use the 85 mil lens and i do a variety of uh, sliding shots dolly shots sorry and um, some static shots with various lenses and I link all those pieces together um, for the final cut so here's one of the dolly shots then a close up wide angle and we also did some um, short telephoto closer up shots on that setup as well and then into the pool. That's me jumping in the pool with some scuba gear. And the first thing we had to do with the pool setup was line the back of the pool with a dark blue fabric so that we could create a background um, to give the illusion that we might be in the ocean. So this whole pool sequence was a hell of a lot of work. And I've got an Ecolite, um housing here with a 5D Mark II in it. Um, not my housing, kindly um, someone lent this to me um, and we used this um, for the filming, it worked really well. I uh, didn't use any artificial lights or anything, what I did was um, set the colour temperature on the camera to sort of enhance the blues if you like and just filmed under the existing light that was coming into the pool. There you can see all the fabric in place. There's Colette with Johan Carlson and we're getting there's Pete, my safety diver, just jumping into the pool just as a backup. Uh, need to have a safety diver there because I'll be busy filming just in case something goes wrong. And we got another bottle there. I've got a spare rig set up on the bottom there, um, which Pete was going to use just to blow some extra bubbles up and also whether Colette, um, if she needed to breathe from it, stay the water. But she decided that she was actually better coming up to the surface, taking some air and then going back down and doing it that way. And again, um, she did really well with these sequences. We had some speakers um, placed underwater so that you could hear the music and she could mime along to parts of the song underwater but extremely difficult task um, for her to accomplish that and hats off to her for doing so and here you can see me filming with the 5D Mark II with the Icolite housing and Colette moving her arms around and miming to the music whilst she's basically holding her breath and then as she runs out of breath it's back up to the surface for um, a gasp of air. I kept popping back up intermittently to review the footage and check that um, everything was going okay. So you can see from this little behind the scenes um, video how complex even a fairly simple music video like this actually was i say complex but i mean bear in mind that we made all this um for next to 
no budget at all. Um, Colette's a personal friend of mine, and we basically did this one as a, as a favour for her. And here you can see the scene with the, the uh, blue background fabric. And I think, uh, if I remember correctly, I just had a 50mm lens for these underwater scenes in the pool, just to give a fairly tight crop in on Colette, so that you didn't reveal as much that we were in a swimming pool. And um, again, to give the impression that it was all linked to this whole underwater and possibly some of the earlier ocean scenes. And there's Pete blowing some extra bubbles up in front of Colette while she's um, miming. And there you can see the, uh, the style of the final result there, linking into some of the other clips. Colette was using one of our lead weights then to help her get down to the bottom of the pool. Um, but yeah, as I said, you can see you know, the amount of work and effort that went into producing something like this. This is where Johan also um, appeared in the video and the two of them came down into the pool um, for these romantic sequences, if you like. And then here is the sort of final stages of the music video where you can see all of these cuts taking place. And again, we made this music video for literally next to no money. We did it with just DSLR cameras, with normal uh, DSLR lenses. In this case, we used a Canon 7D, a 5D Mark II, and probably no more than three or four lenses for the whole thing. We had the Zakuto rig, which um, was a useful accessory for this type of filming. Plus, we had um, the Ikolite housing, which was loaned to us for the underwater sequences. If you'd like to see the full music video, then you'll find that on our YouTube channel at Great Photography Tips. So hopefully that gave you a little bit of an insight behind the scenes of uh, what went into making um, this particular music video.